Now, for over 30 years, Film Fest DC has been bringing thought-provoking movies from all over the world to a discerning audience in the U.S. capital, promoting discussion and debate. This spring, the festival is celebrating its 31st anniversary with 80 selected films. VOA's Penelope Pulu has more. Washington, D.C., where politics and culture intertwine. So it is no surprise to find films with social and political messages from all over the world in the city's film festival. Tony Giddens, founder and head of the Washington, D.C. International Film Festival, came to VOA to talk about this year's offerings. These are films that look at the issues that have been heightened with the new presidential administration. So for example, we're looking at immigration, we're looking at the importance of uh, public education versus charter school or commercializing education. Uh, we're looking at the need for a uh, free press. Among the films Giddens has selected is All Governments Lie from Canadian filmmaker Fred Peabody. It traces the history of free independent journalism and its significance to the pursuit of truth and preservation of democracy. There's only two types of reporters. There's those who care and those who don't. Most of them don't care. Another noteworthy film is the documentary The Good Postman by Bulgarian filmmaker Tonislav Christov. It looks at people who live in a small town and have to decide. I mean, Syrians are coming into their community. How do they adjust to it? Is it going to help their economy or is it going to hurt them in some way? And so these are issues that are faced by Europeans and Americans from day to day. The festival offers a variety of films looking at social and cultural displacement from the perspective of ethnic communities existing as insular islands in other cultures. One example is A Wedding a feature drama by Stefan Strecker. This French-Pakistani production deals with the values of a Pakistani family living in France and ends in tragedy when one of the daughters chooses a new way of life over tradition. One of the most visually impressive films this year is Human. Photographer and filmmaker Jan Arthus Bertrand delivers breathtaking cinematography about humanity, weaving a picture of vast landscapes, the world as seen from up high, with mankind dwarfed in it. The filmmaker interviews people from all walks of life. <laughs> It's about the world, the whole planet, um, the, the uh, environment, and as well as people's social needs or economic needs and interests. How, in a way, we're different, but in fundamental ways, we're very similar. Gitten says it is not always easy to select films for intellectually demanding and politically savvy Washingtonians. But he says his year-long quest for the best selections are always appreciated. Penelope Pulu, VOA News, Washington.